Hey, what is going on you guys? It's Oliver the Boss and today I'm going to be doing a review video on the OnePlus 3T. I know I'm a bit late on it, but better late than never. So yeah guys, this is a really good budget smartphone and I'm going to show you why it is. So yeah guys, let's get right in the video. Well, first off, we're going to be looking at the specs of the OnePlus 3T. Okay, so this phone has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 processor, it has an Adreno 530 GPU, it has 6GB of DDR4 RAM, and it has 64GB or 128GB of storage. Right now, this is the 128GB model and also a 3400mAh non-removable battery. So the OnePlus 3T has a 1080p display and not a 1440p display like the Samsung Galaxy S8. But even though it only has a 1080p display, it's an AMOLED display and produces really nice colours. For example, I'm right now playing the Guardians of the Galaxy trailer for you guys to see and judge for yourself how you think the display is. As you can see, this phone also has a fingerprint scanner which you could say is as fast as the iPhone 7 fingerprint scanner. So yeah guys, right now we're going to show you guys how the phone performs and as you can see because of the new Snapdragon 821 processor and the 6GB of RAM that the phone has, it makes the performance really snappy and there's barely any lag at all. As you can see, it's perfect, you know, you're opening closing applications without any lag and pretty much it's really smooth and snappy so the performance is really reliable on this phone so yeah guys right now we're going to talk about the battery life on this smartphone and as you can see there's a 3400 mAh battery which you can easily get through the day with and also if you don't manage to get through the day with that kind of battery life the charging speed on this phone is practically amazing it takes about 30 minutes for you to charge a full charge on this phone to be able to use the whole day again. This is pretty much because the OnePlus 3T is using USB-C for charging and is using this new technology called Dash Charging to make the phone charge faster. Okay, so the OnePlus 3T has a 16 megapixel camera and I'm gonna show you some pictures taken with it. So as you can see right now, this is the first picture and as you can see, the picture quality is really sharp and it's really clear and the colors are really nice. So let's zoom into the picture right now. As you can see the picture has got a lot of detail to it and there's pretty much not much noise in the picture either so it's got a really nice picture quality. As you can see this is the second picture I took with the phone and also let's zoom in right now. As you can see this camera has got really good detail to it and also there's a lot of blur in the background which is really nice so it has a bit of a bokeh effect. Okay so this camera right here is a 16 megapixel front facing camera so let's test it right now. Okay, so right now I'm testing the front facing camera by taking a selfie in some pretty low light conditions and as you can see the picture quality for the selfie is really good. Of course it's not as good as the back facing camera even though both of them have the same megapixel number but for a selfie or something like that it's pretty good for a front facing camera. As you can see this is the video quality on the OnePlus 3T right now and it shoots 4K video. As you can see the video is really nice and clear. Of course the video quality is not as good as the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus's video quality but this is a $400 smartphone you're talking about and it can shoot 4K video so what more can you expect from a smartphone like this. Now I'm going to show you guys some neat features that the OnePlus 3T has when you turn the phone off. This pretty much you can just pretty much draw a V on the phone screen to enable the flashlight then you can draw an O on the phone screen to enable the camera as you can see that's me right there in the background as you can see this feature is not perfect and I took me a few tries sometimes to enable the features because sometimes my, the phone didn't recognize when I drew a V or when I drew an O on the screen but you know this works pretty much about 70% of the time so it's pretty okay for example so yeah guys so thank you guys for watching my review video on the OnePlus 3T. This is definitely the best budget smartphone that money can buy. It only retails for about 400 something dollars. And if you want a higher spec model, you can end up for about 500 or 550 US dollars. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, rating and subscribe to my channel. It's been Oliver the Boss. Thanks for watching and peace out guys.